Hello my lovelies, today I'm going to show you the basics of how to create a day in the life comic strip. First off, I'm going to need a couple of simple supplies I can find at home. A pencil or a couple pencils, some paper of some sort. Printer paper or drawing paper will work best, but if you only have lined paper, that'll work. Or you can get super crazy and cut up some cardboard off of an old box and work on that. Um, next, you're going to need a ruler or a straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, try grabbing a book. Um, maybe a piece of paper or something with a flat edge that can get you even lines while we're working on our comic strip. Once I have my materials put together, I'm going to start by creating the basic layout of my comic. I do this by drawing lines on all sides of my paper, about a quarter of an inch from the edge. Once that border is complete, I'm going to start um, to create scene boxes to fill my pages. I just measure out similar size rectangles across my paper and then split them up to fit my story. My comic has eight scene boxes. You can mix it up and split your paper however you like. You just need to have at least six scene boxes on your pages. Keep in mind that smaller boxes are a little bit easier to fill than big ones and that every row, um, if it's the same, it'll look kind of boring. You can even mix it up by adding diagonals or different types of boxes. Some can be really big, some can be really small. You can play with it and have fun while you're setting up your paper. Once you finish your boxes, take a minute to put your scene idea titles in each box, like title, character, or for me, the kitchen. Um, this will just help you figure out what you want to show in your comic and what's going to go in all of the boxes to fill up your paper. The first box we will fill is the title box. This should be on the top row of your comic and state what your comic is about. Mine says, A Day in the Life of Miss Shamard. So I'll add quarantine addition to it later just to make it a little bit more interesting. But you can title yours whatever you want. Try to think of something creative and if you need inspiration, maybe Google comic book titles or different comic books. While you're working on your title section of your comic, Try using different kinds of writing. You can look up writing um, like we would do in class on defont.com if you're stuck. Um, I did partial bubble letters for the banner that says a day in the life, and then I tried to write my name super fancy um, using a, a sort of brush script. So when I do fancy letters, I like to cheat and I write them in cursive, and then I go back over my letters where the pencil goes down when I originally wrote them, and I thicken them up there to make them look like brushwork letters. is my character introduction. So make sure somewhere on your page you introduce yourself as the main character in your story. For this, I used a picture on my iPhone to see what I looked like and then I made a cartoon version of myself. I will put a link to basic cartoon body and face making in our project folder if you need more help on this. If you're struggling with this part, maybe try putting a photo of yourself on your phone, put it under your paper to trace the basic shape of your face, or just like a couple basic line ideas, and then add more cartoony features on top of that. If you don't need something like that, maybe think about ways you can expand your character and add quirky things that, about, that are about you. So like, I put a funky scrunchie in my hair, which has been my favorite go-to item in quarantine.
Make sure you leave room in each of your scene boxes to add words and text. Like for this one, I left a speech bubble open and I added little dots to show that my character was speaking. Uh, if you want, you can add different types of boxes on top of your scene boxes to kind of section out areas for where you want to put text. Um, you can look up different comic books or maybe look at comics in the newspaper um, to see some ideas for how artists put different text boxes in. The last part of what I add for this week's half of our comic is my only full page width scene. I took a panorama picture of my kitchen on my phone and now I'm drawing it out. I start with basic shapes like lines, squares, rectangles to make up cabinets and just the basic features of my kitchen. Um, and then I slowly build on that and make details like my teapot and my favorite mug and dishes in the drying rack by my sink. A couple of tricks that help make comic drawing a little easier are putting text bubbles or boxes over difficult areas to draw kind of like I put up next to my character, but you can cut out sections that are difficult that you don't want to have to put there, like the funky right side of my kitchen where the counter comes out weird. Also, you got to remember when you're making these comic scenes that no one else is going to see the picture that you're basing your drawing on. So it's okay to leave things out and it's okay to kind of adjust what you see a little bit to make it your own. So do you guys really think my sink is empty and clean? I just didn't draw all the dirty dishes. today. We will only be working on the first half of our comic this week and we won't be adding color or any more details other than what's in pencil yet. So make sure once you get to the halfway point of your paper that you snap a pic and upload it to Schoology under our assignments folder. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Happy drawing!